foreclosure on it. In addition to that, she has filed an eviction, which means that's on my credit report. You have brought me uh, vegetables once. Actually, a couple of times. No, twice. Thank you. That's when, when is she starting? She's already begun, so you should join her as soon as possible. You're a billionaire. God has blessed you to be a billionaire, and this is what you do? Uh, she works very, very hard, and uh, so she, she has qualifications to do it, and she's very successful. That's where I lived for 13 years. That's where my memories are. Number eight, free cars catch. Let's build the deeds on Oprah's free cars moment. You remember that epic scene where she's like, you get a car, you get a car, everybody gets a car. Well, here's the twist. It wasn't as simple. at her mansion. Nope, they were banished to hotels and guess who footed the bill? I would tell Oprah is please call me so we can sit down and talk woman to woman, would you please? You're a billionaire. God has blessed you to be a billionaire and this is what you do? Because I think um, it's gone on and That's where I lived for 13 years. That's where my memories are. Credit has a foreclosure on it. In addition to that, she has filed an eviction, which means that's on my credit report. An eviction case on uh, the 31st of... Uh... Yep, the fam have to dig into their own pockets. A bit stingy, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Barbara spilled the real tea on Oprah's wrath on the workplace. Allegedly, Oprah had a hair trigger temper, and if you blinked the wrong way, you were out. Firings left and right, even for the tiniest lip-ups. It's like Oprah's rule was do your job perfectly or find the nearest exit. So behind the scenes, Oprah might not be the cuddly icon we see on TV. Who would have thought, right? The diva drama adds a whole new layer to the Oprah mystique. To just stay here to stay here. The problem is she has destroyed my credit Monday and they're going to kick me out on next Monday. When we first purchased the house, she allowed us to purchase what we wanted. No, you can trust her, number yeah. one. She's smart. Yep. She has a photographic memory. Mm -hmm. When she filed, uh, when she didn't allow him to sign the bank papers, it forced all the property into foreclosure. I'm 66 years old. Where am I going to go to get credit? Number five, Maui Fun Scandal. All right, buckle up for the Maui Fun Scandal where Oprah found herself in some serious hot water. Picture this. Oprah and Dwayne Johnson team up to start a relief fund for the victims of the Maui wildfires. Sounds pretty noble, right? 
But here's the kicker. They asked for donations. A whopping $10 million kickstarted the People's Fund of Maui, with Oprah and The Rock each throwing in $5 million. Now, why did this become such a massive deal? Oprah, with her billionaire status and a net worth that would make Scrooge McDuck blush, was under fire for daring to ask regular folks for their hard-earned cash. The internet collectively lost its cool, slamming Oprah for not just footing the whole bill herself. Despite the backlash, Oprah defended her move, expressing disappointment in the reactions. The controversy rages on as folks question whether Oprah will dig deeper into her pockets for the fund. It's a classic case of do good intentions gone awry and now. and Stedman decided to keep the wedding bells on silent mode. Why? Well, Oprah spilled the beans, revealing she's got some serious concerns about marriage messing with her vibe. According to the queen of talk shows, saying I do could throw a monkey wrench into her hard-earned independence and the fabulous life she's crafted. It's like she's saying, Stedman, I adore you, but my freedom is non-negotiable. Yet, in a surprising twist, she dropped hints on air, practically waving a neon sign that says, Propose Deadman. She loves to be able to go out and cook whatever she wants to cook. She's yeah. you know, it's kind of natural. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. She works very, very hard. And uh, so she, she has qualifications to do it, and she's very successful. And, you know, I want her to succeed and be as successful as she possibly can. So I encourage that. That's not always an uh, easy thing to do when you're in a man in a relationship with a very powerful woman. But here's where the rumor mill starts churning. Whispers in the wind suggest that their love story might be more about red carpets than romance. Some folks claim it's all for the cameras, a strategic move for the perfect public image. Love or just playing the PR game? The mystery of Oprah's relationship status keeps us all on the edge of our seats. My Christmas wish, don't say it. Just Demma doesn't know it's happening. Can I be surprised? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you know Fame or her success or her money or all of that, and so that's who she is. Number two, vegan cleanse. Hold on to your veggies because we're diving into Oprah's wild vegan cleanse ride. Back in the days of Oprah ruling the talk show Kingdom, she waved the animal rights flag high and proud. To prove her point, she dropped a shocker on her staff, a 21-day vegan cleanse extravaganza. Now this wasn't your typical, oh, if you feel like it, give it a shot situation, oh no. It was more of a you're in or you're out deal. Participation was technically optional, but if you dared to sign up, there was no turning back. It was vegan or bust, my friend. But here's the kicker, if you chickened out, or should I say tofu'd out midway through the cleanse, your job might be on the chopping block. Oprah wasn't playing games, she was super serious about this plant-based mission. Imagine the lunchroom debates over quinoa salads and soy lattes. 
Oprah's vegan cleanse wasn't just a dietary choice. It was a workplace challenge that turned the studio into a battlefield of leafy greens and plant-based drama. Who knew veggies could be so intense? Making issue of this week, Oprah Winfrey has gone vegan for three weeks, 21 days. You just look fantastic. Well, thank you. Look so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's terrific. <laughs> Would you join her just 21 days going vegan? I'll think about it. <laughs> you have brought me uh, vegetables once. Actually, a couple of times. No, twice. That would be great because it would save, as you know, the animals, the environment, and your own health. Basket in, uh -huh. and you said, "What am I supposed to do with this?" Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You said, "What am I supposed to do with this?" Because thank you. That's <laughs> when when is she starting? She's already begun, so you should join her as soon as possible. Oprah did. That's for sure. Number one, spiritual beliefs. Let's take a trip down the spiritual rabbit hole with Oprah and her controversial spiritual beliefs. Brace yourselves, because it's going to be a wild one. Oprah spilled beans on her daily routine, and it's not your typical breakfast and coffee deal. Nope, she dives deep into spiritual exercises, morning reads, and a sprinkle of meditation. But here's where it gets juicy. Oprah didn't keep the enlightenment to herself. She invited all sorts of self-fulfillment gurus onto her show, shouting their teachings from the rooftops. Well, the fans weren't all chanting Om in unison. Backlash hit like a spiritual hurricane. People started side-eyeing Oprah for getting too cozy with these gurus, and readers of her magazine weren't vibing with the sudden shift towards the cosmic. In response, Oprah pulled a U-turn, stepping back from the spiritual deep dive. It's like she tested the waters, felt a little too much heat, and gracefully backstroke to safer shores. So Oprah's journey into the spiritual realm? Let's just say it had its fair share of skeptics and raised eyebrows. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. See you next time, and bye for now.